Hey, White Rock 85 here. Uh, today I have uh, one of the nicest firearms that I have as far as looks, engraving, uh, tradition, uh, just the beauty of it itself. Uh, it's the Marlin 1894 Century Limited. Uh, this is a special edition Marlin uh, that came out back in 1994 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Marlin's 1894 rifle. Uh, here's the box itself right here. We'll get this off the desk so we can talk a little bit about it. Uh, but again, beautiful looking, and I'm going to certainly get some close-ups on everything so you can certainly uh, enjoy what I enjoy. And then I'm going to have a question for you at the end. Uh, so let's put this aside carefully. The receiver, bolt, and lever are hand engraved by Bogetta Giovanni Ellie, and then case color hardened by Turnbulls. There is a deer on one side, along with some scrolling, and the Century Limited 1894 to 1994. There is also the Marlin Horse and Rider on the other side. It has a brass crescent butt plate, the octagonal barrel measures 24 inches in length and there is a full 12 shot magazine. And there is adjustable rear sight with a marble inlay. It has a straight walnut checkered grip along with a checkered forearm. We have a nice octagon barrel that measures 24 inches in length. And you have the uh, full shot tube magazine here that holds 12 of the uh, 4440s, these beautiful 4440s, one of the cartridges that I, uh, I really love from back in the, the 1800s uh, in the day. Uh, really enjoy shooting that cartridge and pistol uh, in a one of the Rossi 92s that I have and uh, certainly uh, certainly pleasant to shoot, really enjoy shooting that cartridge itself. Just pick it up for a couple minutes. Uh, this is basically your short action. I'll go ahead and rack it. Of course, it is empty. Uh, but it's short action as far as this is how far it goes open as far as the action goes. So, as you can see, very short stroked. Uh, doesn't swing way up over to here as far as a big angle. It's almost 90 degrees straight down. Uh, so, you could see you could certainly uh, cycle this action very fast. And having 12 rounds in the tube, or 13 plus 1. Uh, you could certainly shoot all of those 13 in a very, very short, short amount of time. Uh, the only thing, a difference between this and I think the 1894s, this does have a safety uh, that goes through here. So it has the hammer block on there, but that's probably the only difference. Uh, there was only 2,500 of these made back in 94, thus the limited edition designation. Uh, Where did you get that, Rook? Where, where, how'd you pick that up? Well. For those of you that are a little bit younger, don't remember, uh, eBay used to sell firearms. You could buy firearms on eBay auction, just like you do everything else on eBay these, these days, if people still use that. Price, tell you the truth, I don't remember how much it was. It was back uh, about 14, 15 years ago. Um, I'm thinking in the six, 600s, 650, 699. 700 something like that uh, as far as the auction and when I want it I probably have the paperwork around somewhere from that but I, I don't, really don't remember where but uh, before they stopped uh, putting firearms on on eBay and and I guess I can understand why the legal consequences of selling it to a minor uh, but I did have to get this sent to local FFL dealer and go there fill out the paperwork 
have the background check done before I could take possession of this. So it wasn't shipped directly to me. Uh, you st I still did have to go through a, a federal firearms license uh, and uh, and have my uh, background check. So it wasn't uh, wasn't like it was sent right to me. Uh, but uh, just an inter interesting background. Uh, I've looked at these. I, I really keep, keep an eye on them over the years to, just to see the price-wise. And they're going up on in price. Um, was that the reason I got it? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's the question I'll have for you a little bit later. Uh, they are going up the, the value-wise. I've seen them almost uh, anywhere from 1100 1200 1400 uh, I've seen them going for, so uh, they definitely do have some value. Uh, the original lever action Marlin 1894 was the typical of the Marlin lever action designed at the time with a square bolt, uh, the solid top, unlike the Winchester. Uh, if you know your Winchester is when you eject the cartridge, the top opens and the cartridge comes out uh, through the top. Uh, here we really have a side eject on the Marlins. That's where Marlin and Winchester differed a little bit. Uh, they were also case colored, as this one is, uh, and they uh, you could get them in the uh, rifle, musket, or carbine versions of the uh, 1894s. Uh, having a carbine version of this would I think would be really nice, but I don't think I could find one. Yeah, maybe I could. I'll, maybe I'll have to look for one. With the advent of uh, the Magnum pistol cartridges. And cowboy action shooting, uh, Marlin has come back and brought back the, the 1894. Cartridge-wise now, you might be able to find uh, 38, 357, 44, uh, 45. I'm not sure the cartridge designation. From reading, this is a super accurate rifle. Uh, the guys have bench rests that amount to 100 yards and clover leafing uh, their target. So uh, certainly an accurate uh, rifle. And... Uh, that really leads to my question. Uh, I have not fired this. Uh, it is unfired, and when I bought it, I thought I would get it as a collector's piece. The the basically the limited edition. Don't fire it, and it'll go up in value. Uh, say as you would buy a stock or any other type of uh, annuity or precious metal commodity. The question really that I have: uh, Should I fire this rifle? Should I take it out and shoot it? Uh, should I enjoy it uh, for what it is? I'm going to pass this down uh, throughout my family to son, grandsons, uh, and hopefully it'll it'll stay in the family for a long time. I uh, don't really have any any plans on uh, selling this. Uh, I guess if you buy something thinking it's a commodity, at some point you have to sell that commodity to make a profit. Uh, I don't think I could I could sell this uh, just because I think it's uh, so nice. It sits on my office wall. Uh, every day I get to take a look at it, um, and I really enjoy the the look of it, the the tradition of it. Uh, certainly like modern firearms. So you, you see my channel, you know I like the modern firearms also. But uh, uh, the lever actions always appeal to me, and uh, and certainly still do. So uh, this is the only firearm that I actually have displayed on my wall. Uh, 24-7, and uh, it probably will be the only one, so uh, i certainly uh, very fond of it. Uh, again, that's my question, and, and if you could write it in the comment section, should I fire this? Uh, should I just take it out and use this? Should I take it up to, to the camp and, and do a video up there, shoot it, and do some target practice, uh, hit some steel, shoot some two liters? It's definitely something that I'm leading towards. Uh, but I just want to hear your opinion. You can say, hey, no, Rook, just keep it like it is. It's just going to be worth more, and you pass it down, and uh, they'll just enjoy it just as much as you do. Or, heck, no, get it get it out. Get some get some lead through that thing. Fire it, fire it through. Clean it up nice when you're done, but go ahead and fire it and enjoy it. Uh, it's meant to be used. So uh, certainly uh, that's my question for you. If you could post in the comments, I'd really appreciate what uh, your opinion of what I should do. This is White Ruck 85 signing out from the Delmarva Peninsula today uh, with the Marlin 1894 Century Limited in 4440.